Hey everybody, Fishman here, and welcome to another video. My apologies to all my regular viewers, but today is going to be a machining video. I know in the past I used to do these on Wednesdays, but I actually really need to get this done. Uh, there's some stuff I want to do, and I just, I just need it. Now, I could have knocked this off probably in a lot less time if I made it out of wood, but I need it also to be a little bit more durable, and I want to be able to drill holes in it, and I want to be able to uh, put clamps and all that sort of stuff for kind of some specialty builds. And every time I show me, show me cutting on a saw, I get all the comments on, like, no, you set the blade too high, and all that sort of stuff. So I want to avoid all of that and still get to be able to do everything I want. So I'm going to make this out of aluminum. I don't think there's a, actually a whole lot of videos about making it out of this material. It's much easier just to do it out of wood. But this is actually going to suit pretty much all my needs, I think. So I, I think this is the way to go. This is the rough layout for it. Uh, none of these pieces are cut, obviously, uh, except the two uh, base plates. And there's going to be more, obviously, added onto this. But this is roughly how it's going to go. And to make this work, I need to cut two precision grooves in the bottom of each of those plates to match those runners. And that is kind of tricky. Because the only way I can do that is to attach it... Uh, like really mount it well to the base of my milling machine like right onto the platform itself because that's that thing runs true I mean this is where it is here so I need to make some um, clamps for that so I need to make some uh, uh, t-nuts and then some bolts and obviously the clamping parts of it as well and that's what this video is going to be about I'm going to make uh, four of them which will give me more than enough security for this and I've decided to make this out of brass. Now, I could have done it out of steel. I don't really machine a lot of steel, mostly because my, <laughs> my shop is in my fish room. And steel just doesn't last. It gets rusty, and I'd have to do a lot of extra care or treatment of it to uh, get it to do uh, what I want it to stay. Uh, whereas brass is fine. It will uh, stay like this forever. Uh, it might get a little bit tarnished in the end, but that's no big deal. It won't rust, which is what I'm <laughs> kind of concerned about. Now the other thing is, I bought these four uh, chunks of brass as offcuts. It's a lot cheaper to buy brass this way. I just go into uh, the metal shop where I get my materials, and I look through the racks that they have of offcuts, and just pick out what is at least close to what I want, and then I don't have to pay for cutting or anything, and I get a discount on it. So it's uh, it's actually really good. It's a lot cheaper that way. And uh, brass is not cheap, so anything I could save on this is a, is a good thing. It does mean I'm going to have to do a little extra machining. Um, as far as the width of these pieces go, they're actually almost perfect. They're just a little tall, so I'm going to have to probably end up machining almost a half inch off of the bottoms of these once I finally get them to size and everything. But that's actually not a bad thing because... Uh, I don't really machine a lot of brass, uh, so I was trying a few techniques out here, uh, trying out, uh, you know, to get it just perfect. Uh, it was off a little uh, on one side, you can see there right now. So by the time I got it evened out, I needed to also end up uh, machining the tops of them down so that they're all exactly the same, and then flipping them over and then machining them to the final dimensions. But it gave me a little extra material, and it did, uh, well, I didn't end up wasting a whole piece or anything like that that's <laughs> the end result of that is that's actually really good for me because like i said with a little bit of extra material it's you know you, it's always easier to cut a little bit more off but you can't ever really glue it back on so it worked out well in the end and actually i probably should say this right now i'm not a machinist if you're a machine guy and you're watching this video uh, I'm just an amateur. I do this because I like to build things. Uh, if you want, there's much better machining channels. Uh, go watch one of those if you like instead. But this is just some guy just making some things that they need for uh, doing other work that's going to need to be done. So here we go. Those are the roughed out uh, pieces. Uh, obviously, it's still bulky. Now I need to... This is the top part of the T. Uh, so that's going to be the top. It's going to be sticking out. Uh, on, well... It's almost going to be near the top of uh, the trough where the, the slide is. So it's going needs to be machined so they're all exactly the same height. 
So I'm going to do that part first. And uh, it's not hard to do. It's just a matter of putting one on a parallel and then uh, machining it off. It's actually a lot easier to do than flipping it over on the other side. But brass is actually, I've, as I've been doing this, and now that I've actually finished making them, it's actually a, a nice material to work with. I actually enjoy working with it. I know I've uh, watched a lot of videos online. People were talking about uh, machining brass, and they have uh, issues with it. They prefer uh, various kinds of steels and whatnot. Uh, but I actually didn't have any trouble with it. I didn't. I didn't mind it at all. I mean, there was no uh, like I didn't have any difficulties with it. It's not uh, like trying to machine steel is. It's a lot harder. Uh, I could actually uh, hog out all this material a lot faster with it being brass. And because these are going to be quite beefy, uh, and the, when I go to thread them and everything, there's going to be lots of threads there. So I'm going to be able to put a lot of force on this, uh, probably way more than I'm ever going to need. But anyway, that's enough about that. This is uh, These are starting to take shape now. Uh, I'm not sure if you guys know what they're going to look like in the end here, but this is kind of the level of, of skill I have with machining. It's not perfect, uh, but... It's more than serviceable, serviceable for what I need. So I need to flip these, flip these over here and then remove the thickness so that they slide into where the T-slots are. And that's uh, pretty straightforward. It's the same operation. Uh, it's just on the opposite end. And so there you go. It's a lot thinner now. And that will just slide a little snugly, but that's fine. I can always, like I said, take a little bit more off if I need to. But it's always best I leave it, I find, a little on the snug side and then adjust later on if I want to. The other thing I have to figure out is what kind of finish I want to put on these. Because they're just, they're, they're going to be nuts and bolts. They're going to need, they're going to get scratched, they're going to get banged around and all that sort of stuff. So I'm not going to polish them up. So I have to kind of figure what kind of finish I want to put on these. Uh, there's going to be a little uh, test one I'm going to put in at the end there. Uh, let me know what you think of that too. And... I know I've asked this almost every video I do, but definitely leave comments. Uh, let me know if <laughs> you're even remotely interested in this sort of thing. I am going to be doing a few more of these, obviously, because I do need to get that sled together. And because it's uh, it's going to take up a bit of my time, I am going to uh, obviously be putting up videos of that instead of uh, fish videos for a little bit. Uh, my apologies if that's uh, nothing that you're interested in. I will try and restrict it to uh, Wednesdays, and then I'll keep doing the regular Friday videos for fish. Now these are going to be the top parts. These are going to be where the clamps are going to... This, well, this is the clamp, basically. There's going to be a hole in there. Actually, I've decided I'm going to probably put in more than one hole, because I want to you know, have different lengths and bits that are going to be hanging on to uh, where uh, the, the material that's going to be clamped. So... Uh, I'm going to start off with one hole to start off with. But the thing I need to do first off, well, actually, I actually don't need to do this at all, but it does look a lot nicer this way, is I am going to machine them all to uh, the same length, uh, just so that it looks nicer. Uh, <laughs> there's really no other reason for doing it other than that. But yeah, it, it does come out quite nice. I like the finish on it. It's uh, something that's... Uh, well, I mean, if you're going to make them, you might as well just make them so they look nice. So there you go. All the same length. Well, actually, this is only one side. I need to flip it over now and then machine the other side. So here is the, the side I just finished. And then if you look on the other side, the saw cuts, you can see why I need to do this. It's, you know, I mean, they're serviceable. It's just going to be a clamp, but, you know, it looks nicer the other way. So I'm going to machine that down. Here we go. And now they're all the same length and the finish is fine. Now I forgot to hit the on button for my phone on the camera there uh, so you don't get me to see me drilling the hole but it's just a hole, it's no big deal. The thing I did here though is the important part is I drilled the hole, left everything set exactly the way it is now, uh, took the uh, drill bit out and then I put in uh, the tap. So it's going exactly down the same hole and it is actually uh, quite parallel. I mean, it's going perpendicular down the hole, and it's doing really well. So, I mean, and you can see as I'm turning it here, <laughs> for some reason I wanted to show you that it's actually going in. Once you start the hole, uh, it moves up and down all by itself. It's actually quite easy. I mean, it's the same with when you're tapping anything. 
Uh, brass is actually quite easy to do, so it's uh, no big deal. Now, I was getting kind of late Thursday, and I ran out of time really to make them all, but I wanted to finish one up at least a little bit. So I've tapped two holes here. The back one is pretty much a height gauge. I, that gets set to whatever thickness of uh, material that you're going to be um, uh, clamping down so that there's no angle, so that this piece here is flat and it's holding everything even. Some people actually even set it just a little bit high so there's a little bit of a downward angle to it. Uh, those sorts of things I'll be fiddling with once I get to that point. Now, I didn't have time to make all the bolts, uh, but this is what they're going to be made out of, hex bolts. And I'm going to just machine them down to quarter inch and then thread them as well. Uh, but for the moment, what I'm going to do here is just show you it done in... Uh, these are just stainless steel. Uh, they don't look right. <laughs> it's much better in brass, and I'll do that that way. So I'm going to set this up for you, and that's pretty much going to be the end of this video because, like I said, it was getting late. Uh, I will finish these up uh, probably off camera, and the next I'll be getting on to machining uh, for uh, the actual trays and whatnot. So if you actually do like this style of video, please like and or subscribe, and definitely leave lots of comments what you think of this. Even if you're not into machining or anything, just uh, let me know what you think they look like. I couldn't do this one-handed, sorry, I, so I had to turn this off, and there it is. These are clamped down. I didn't clamp it down hard, and that, cause that's mostly because that bolt there is just too short. I'm going to have to machine one that's proper, and then, but it was just lightly tightened down, like hardly touched at all, and I can't move it. It's, it's on there solid, and that's just one of these things. That's, I, I'm very happy about that. So I'm going to just show you uh, one little finish job I did. I mean, it was, it was tired. I was tired. It was late. Uh, I'm not actually thrilled about it, but it is shiny. Uh, the scratches are fine. It's probably better than the original cutting or anything, but ah, whatever. Like I said, it was getting late. And this is kind of the setup for it. And like I said, these are very serviceable. And like I said, they're nice and beefy, which is what I like. So I'm going to be able to use them and put lots of force on them. And the other thing I should be able to use them for is this, this style anyway is for the sled itself so thanks for watching i'll see you in the next video and bye for now